Alec, this is a brand new machine, first seen here in the UK. That's true, it's available for sale in June, but it is a UK premiere for the SV20R. Why has the machine been introduced and, and what is it? Basically, we're aiming this machine at companies doing high value, complicated, intricate parts. There's lots of features on the machine that makes machining those sort of work pieces a lot faster on this type of machine. Okay, what, what are they? The features we've got, we've got a platen that's got um, five cross working tools, seven turning tools. So that gives you the high speed that you're used to with traditional sliders. And then we've got an eight station turret that gives you that flexibility or configurability, if you like, for uh, more complex work pieces. So with all these tools, how many tools could be in operation at once on a part? Basically three. We've got a function called superposition mode, which allows the turret to be working on one side of the component while the platen is working on the other side. And obviously you've got the back working that's giving you overlap on the back side of the part. OK, what about guide bush and non-guide bush? Absolutely, this can change between the two. So in non-guide bush mode, we can do parts up to 50 million length. And in guide bush mode, we can process in a single chuck in up to 205 millimetres. So where is it going to be ideally suited? You've got a part there, so we'll have a quick look at that. But who's going to buy it? I think people that are doing, like I say, high value parts, medical companies, aerospace companies, components that are really intricate and complicated. That's where we're aiming this machine. And is it going to reduce the cycle times on those types of parts? It is, because there's so many tools we can get in simultaneous cut. So naturally, the cycle time will be reduced. We've also got a feature called star motion control, which is standard on this unit. This basically turns a standard NC program into a hybrid program. It reduces the idle time by minimizing acceleration and deceleration and smoothing the whole process. So it's a, it's a very useful feature just for taking another 3-4% off the cycle time. And how popular has this been this week at the show? It's been very upbeat for this puff machine. I think um, demand will obviously outstrip supply in, at the beginning, so that's good.